Good morning. I'm just going to start with a prayer. God, I just thank you for, uh, I just thank you for dying for us and for, for rising again for salvation for us. And I, ask, I thank you that your Holy Spirit is here to teach us this morning. Amen. Uh, we'll be speaking on repentance. And not all Christians will be in heaven with Jesus. And my question is, why not? And Jesus has prepared a place for the repentant. The repentance of those... Jesus has prepared a place for those repentant of their sins. Jesus speaks in John 14, verses 1 to 4. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. And that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Not all who call Jesus Lord will enter heaven. Uh, Matthew seven twenty one to 23, Jesus speaks. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. So why is Jesus telling people who prophesied and did wonders in his name that he never knew them? Verse 23, Jesus says, Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. This means that these people who appear to be Christians, doing all that Christians were supposed to be doing, in prophesying, casting out demons, and other wonders in Jesus' name, were also practicing disobedience to God's laws. If you love Jesus, keep his word. John 14, 23, 24. Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him, and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not keep my word. So break off what causes you to sin. Matthew 5, verse 30. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Perhaps Jesus was using a metaphor in saying to cut off the hand. An example of today's day and age could be compared to getting rid of your cell phone if it causes you to sin. Forgive others that God may forgive you. Another point Jesus makes is forgiveness. Matthew 6, 14 and 15, Jesus says, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. If someone hurts us, will we choose to forgive or hold on to unforgiveness? It's a serious question with serious consequences if we do not forgive. Without repentance and forgiveness, Jesus has an eternal... Without, sorry, without repentance and forgiveness, there is no eternal life. However, with repentance, Jesus has an eternal home waiting for us. And as, as Matthew 18, 12 to 24, or 12 to 14, there's more rejoicing. Sorry. Uh, Jesus speaks in Matthew 18, 12 to, 20, 12 to 14. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? And if he should find it, assuredly I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that didn't go astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. We are God's children, and he loves us very much. He longs for all to come to repentance and place our faith in him. 
Uh, do we have any unresolved sin? Do we have any unforgiveness towards anyone? In conclusion, I just want to say, uh, here, I'm just comparing here, uh, the father's heart here is like a pregnant mother who is eagerly preparing the room for the child she is about to have. She's beautifying the room with all the right colors, decorations. However, uh, however, the baby ends up not making it and dying in the birth process. The beautiful room she had prepared with love, but, but no child. So it is if a child of God doesn't confess and turn away from sin to receive eternal life and their heavenly reward he has prepared for us. John 14, 1-4 again. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God? Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. God bless.